on the news tonight. Police confirm the arrest of two suspects out of ten over escape from state CID in Benin. Work resumes nationwide after a public holiday to mark New Year. Federal government rules out in position of another lockdown. Good evening and Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us on the ITV Main News tonight. My name is Sonny Duke Okoso. I'm blessing AHA. Happy New Year. Work has resumed after the public holidays declared by the federal government for the Christmas and New Year celebrations. Addis Walato went round the various ministries, departments, and parastatals reports that workers are back to work. At the various government offices, as well as the Civil Service Commission, civil servants were busy attending to government activities, an indication that work has resumed in earnest after the public holidays. The chairman, local government service commission, Chief Tom Uloko, and the permanent secretary, Ministry of Communication and Orientation, Mr. Joseph Sede, expressed excitement to be back to work and reinstated commitment to duty. We began a new year and... Uh... The work has resumed in earnest by the civil servants of the local government service commission. As you can see, the place is bubbling with staff and they are ready to go. Also that uh, they have had a pleasant uh, holiday for the Christmas and for the New Year. In spite of what uh, Nigeria suffered under the COVID era in 2020. It's good to resume, it's good we're back to work and we're grateful to God for sparing our lives. I enjoyed my holidays. Um, you know, it's a, a festive uh, period. We're all rejoicing that we crossed over. I went to the church to thank God, took some rest. Now we have resumed, work has indeed resumed. Some civil servants who shared their experiences during the holidays said they were happy to be back at work. It's a great day. I feel good. I'm happy to see my colleague, everyone in the office. The work is good. It's great. It's better than that of last year. Um, I'm very, very okay. I'm quite excited. I'm very happy to be back here today. My work now, we have started, so we are here now. No problem, buy work. Other institutions such as commercial banks has also resumed work in line with the federal government's directive after the New Year celebration. Adesua Lato reporting. Two suspects have been re-arrested out of the ten that escaped from the state CID Benin on the first of this month. The Assistant Inspector General of Police, Zone 5 Benin, Mr. Shola Davids, made us known when he went to the Edo State Police Command on an on-the-spot assessment of the circumstances surrounding the incident. Crime correspondent Walletin Akodija has details. The Assistant Inspector General of Police, Zone 5 Benin, Mr. Shola Davids, while inspecting the CID cell at the State Police Headquarters, Benin City, expressed shock at the escape of 10 suspects. The AIG said information at his disposal indicated that two out of the ten suspects have been rearrested. He said the lazity on the part of personnel on duty on the day of the incident must be dealt with. Mr. Davis said the Inspector General of Police, Muhammad Adamu, has directed that those who aided the suspect to escape from the cell should face disciplinary action, after which those found wanted will be dismissed, as the police would not tolerate any act of indiscipline. The Inspector General of Police is not happy with what has happened and has directed that she come here and give a first-hand report of what happened. Um, but I want to I reassure the people of the state that we are taking every measure possible to ensure that these boys who are these suspects who are arrested who escape uh, we are arrested. I also want to use the opportunity to debunk that uh, social media news that uh, we have hundreds of suspects escaped from the state CID center. Uh, we have done a painstaking check and we found that 10 suspects escaped 
However, that's 10 suspects to still many. I want to reassure the people of the state that all steps have been taken, and very soon these bad boys will be brought back to where they should be. Ten suspects comprising armed robbers, murderers, and courtists escaped from the CID cell at the state police headquarters in Benin City on the 1st of January 2021. Wellington Hakodeja reporting. As part of efforts to boost education in the state, the Isma Benin and Honorary Romanian Consort you would do in that state, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Salal Benin was today taken on a guided tour of the academy in Benin by Father Alfred Agbalo. I also saw a report that the academy founded by uh, Reverend Father Agbalo has nursery, primary, and secondary section. The Isma Chief Dr. Gabriel Benin was the one who was the founder of Fred Agbalo. It was after taking on a guided tour that therefore included Catholic's laboratory, which comprises three primary sections, as a decent environment for conducive academic learning. The Isma Benin Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawa Ibnadion, who said he was pleased with the achievement of Reverend Father Alfred Agbalo's development outstanding. I just told him he's a city of his own, and God will continue to bless his to be proud of him. When it was posted, all empty land. He did not inherit anything. God bless you. Antora Benin was a man, Elder Joseph Idehen, who noted that the school can compete favorably with schools in advanced countries. This is the type of schools you get abroad now, modern schools. And this is wonderful. I tell you, this is the best in this city. I can say in the country. Look at it. Everywhere you go. The, the finishing is wonderful. May the Lord strengthen him. May the Lord lead and guide him. May the Lord make this school to be a pride to this state and to the country in general. The founder of the academy, Reverend Father Alfred Agbonlaho, said Catholic Intercessory Academy, which started six years ago, has already made impact in external exams. The school is, um, we are clocking the sixth year now. Uh, so all these buildings, everything you see here, is approximately six years. You know, so the, our first students, just finished their secondary school arm and they all passed their exams, their work to gain admission to the university. So we are predominantly still young and we thank God for the driving force and for the excellence uh, that the school represents. The Esamar of Benin, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawa Ibenedion, was also conducted around a magnificent intercessory prayer chapel built for the school with the capacity to seat 1,000 worshippers. Pius Nsogo reporting. The general manager in Dependent Television, Senior Elder Ogbedi Uwonsi, has been promoted to the office of Director, Independent Television and Radio Worldwide. The letter of promotion personally signed by the investor, Chairman Managing Director, His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gibral Usawao Ibnadion, the ASMR of Benin said the elevation takes effect from Monday 4th of January 2021. It also pointed out that Senior Elder Ogbedi Uwonsi was promoted in view of his high level of competence and commitment to the ideals of the organization. The promotion letter said, since his assumption of office as General Manager of Independent Television and Radio, Benin City, Senior Elder Uwonsi's performance has been exemplary in view of several innovations and improvements he has brought to the stations. They some advised Senior Elder Uwonsi to justify the confidence reposed in him by being more productive and putting in place sustainable machineries to move the stations to greater heights. With his promotion to the office of director, Senior Elder Ogbedi Uwonsi is to oversee all the branches and formations of independent television and radio worldwide. You're watching the independent television main news still to come. Vacancy, vacancy, vacancy. Due to rapid expansion, Pairide Online Taxi requires for immediate employment 100 qualified drivers to fill existing vacancies. Salaries are mouth-watering, very attractive and negotiable. Graduates can also apply. Interested applicants should submit their applications with relevant documents attached to the advertiser. Pairide Online Taxi, 71 Mission Road, opposite Cook Road, Benin City. Pairide Online Taxi, a ride with a difference. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hawaii Awards. Presently, I am indeed on the red carpet and I am super excited. Now, oh, it seems like our ladies are here. Find out your Hawaii soap every day it makes our skin smooth and clean and it moisturizes our skin discover your true beauty naturally with the Hawaii range of soaps Hawaii soap comes in carrot papaya calamansi and gold variants Stay beautiful with Hawaii Soap. Hawaii Soap, the soul of beauty. This product is brought to you by Evans Industries. We are proud of Nigeria. We want Nigeria to be proud of us. My people, make with a list, you know, no be news, eh? coronavirus, don't shoot up again, you know. Therefore, make with a careful, especially for this new year, jolly jolly. But no cause for alarm, because the state government don't stand the bar to deal with this coronavirus, just like Obaseki government and our health workers fight them when he first enter Nigeria. To beat the coronavirus this time, need they make everybody shine their eyes and take the matter serious. So, if you they come out for house, make you wear your face mask and make people wear near you to wear their own. Make you wash your hands always with soap and everybody must wear face masks for public. We must protect the people we don't hold. Government don't put all testing and isolation centers on a lot. If you don't get anything serious to do outside, I beg, make you stay inside your house to protect yourself and your people. If you just travel come from Obodo Yibo, I beg, make you call 080-036-25000. Make you speak with the expert from government. Remember, say, coffee day from 12 midnight to 4 a.m. Now, Edo State Government, now you bring this message, come on. Thank you for staying with us on the ITV main news. As part of efforts to regulate the operations of tricycles and motorcycles across Edo State, the state government has rolled out modalities for the issuance of Edo State riders' permits to private and commercial operators. In a statement, Secretary to Edo State Government, Barrister Usao Dion Ugi, said the permits will be issued through the State Ministry of Infrastructure and will serve the purpose of regulating the use of tricycles and motorcycles in the state. Barista Ogik explained that the initiative is part of the efforts of the state government to improve the state of security, particularly as there have been reported cases of use of tricycles and motorcycles in criminal activities, including armed robbery and kidnapping. The statement pointed out that all owners of tricycles and motorcycles operating within permitted areas of the state and the leadership of the authorized transportation union and what are to ensure that your tricycles and motorcycles are duly registered and issued valid license plates by the Adosted Internal Revenue Service and that your operators or riders obtain their relevant category of riders permit as strict compliance will be enforced by the state government all relevant security agencies within the next 30 days. He warned that the use of motorcycles within the Benicity metropolis remains prohibited, while tricycles are restricted to specified areas in line with the government's earlier pronouncements. More Benin City residents are still trooping to the National Identity Management Commission Center in Benin City for the National Identity Number, despite the use of a special code, star 346 hash, to retrieve the NIN by those with bank verification number, BVN. Adesolato, who visited the center on Sable Road, reports that while the commission is overwhelmed with the turnout of people, prospective registrants lamented that the process is strenuous. situation at the office of the National Identity Management Commission as a crowd of people struggle to register for their national identity number. Some persons complained of their inability to be registered despite arriving at the center in the early hours of the day. It has not been easy at all. The queue have been here since last year, so they did not allow us to enter the gate because of name. You write down your name, then when you come the next day, 
you cannot enter. And I've also been inside six, around six. The stress and everything is not been easy. I'll be going one place to another this morning. If you go here, crowd, I went there, they say I should go to um, uh, uh, Navy office. Get it there, they say that on Monday. That either I go there or I should go to Zenith. From Zenith to Zenith now, and I'm here now. With the crowd here, I don't think if next month this can finish today. And I don't know, I just see them now, with hoping that they will take the name inside. I came on Wednesday, they said that uh, I should come back on Thursday. On Thursday I came, they said we should come back today. But the challenge now is that uh, to attend to people on the queue is a problem. So the lines is not moving as it's supposed to move. That's our challenge. Edo State Coordinator, National Identity Management Commission, Mrs. Efeoki, pacified the crowd. In an interview off camera, she outlined the factors militating against the process, which include lack of power supply and computer systems. She also confirmed that some registered agencies have been given licenses to enroll people at designated mobile offices to register people, which she said will commence soon as part of efforts to reduce the crowd at the centers. The crowd at the centers is occasioned by the federal government's directive that SIM cards should be integrated with the national identity number on or before February the 9th, 2021. Adesua Lato reporting. The member representing East and West, East and Central and Igweben federal constituency at the National Assembly Chief Joe Idionwili says all hands must be, must be on deck to tackle the security challenges bedeviling the state. The federal legislator was speaking during the presentation of a Helox van to the Ekboma Division of the Nadra Police. Best in Biri has details. That was the New Year gift by the member representing East and West, East and Central, and Igwebe Federal Constituency, Chief Joe Dionwele, to the Nigerian Police, Ekpoma Division, to assist in effective policing against kidnapping, armed robbery, and other social vices in East and West local government area. In a remark, Chief Joe Dionwele said, as a federal legislator, he believes that security of lives and property should not be left to the police alone. Hence, he provided solar street lights from the Onoje Palace and other streets in order to enhance security in the area. We are presenting that to Ekoma Division. And you know this time time, we will get to the European Division. And we are trying to light up the whole place from your place now to the first bank. We are put solar lights. We have done a lot. Uh, we have our records to show and uh, some other more than 16 primary schools. But we tend to commission a few of them before March. Then when we complete the uh, Ile and European town bomb, we will accomplish it. And all this will happen within the next six months. Similarly, in the spirit of the youth tide, the member representing East and West, East and Central, and Igwe by Federal Constituency, Chief Joe Ejanwele, gifted the honor of Ekboma, His Royal Highness, Barrister Anthony Abumere II, a car to appreciate the Royal Father for his fatherly role in ensuring peaceful coexistence amongst residents of Ekboma and environs. This is uh, my presentation. Appreciating Chief Joe Ejanwele for his philanthropic gesture, his Royal Highness, Barrister Anthony Abu Mered II, the Honor of Ekboma, described Chief Ejanwele as a man who fights for the interests of his people in view of the numerous projects he has attracted to the three local government areas he represents at the National Assembly and promised to continually give him fatherly support and advice. This is what we call the I want to say thank you very much for that you very good for me. I told you to to assist you at time. On his part, the Divisional Police Officer Ekboma Division, CSP, Olubayo Ajao, expressed gratitude to Chive Dianwele for donating the vehicle to them to assist in fighting crime in the locality. God will surprise you beyond your imagination. Yeah. On behalf of the Commissioner of Police, and those take command. We are very grateful to you, and we promise you that the bed will be used for the purpose it was donated to. Chief Joe Ejanwele had in 2019 donated a bus to the area command of the Nigerian police, ECMA, and also supported the maintenance 
or some abandoned vehicles in the division. Meanwhile, Chief Joe Jawole paid a courtesy call to the Speaker and does not ask for Assembly Marcus Onobun at his country home in Ekboma to celebrate the new year with him. Best in Biere, reporting. The Speaker, Edo State House of Assembly, Mr. Marcus Onobun, has urged Edo people to be fearless, steadfast, and courageous in the face of the socio-economic challenges that characterized 2020 and the second wave of COVID-19. Mr. Honorable made the remark at the House of Assembly Interdenominational Fellowship for the month of January. King's Lou Chapel has details. Leadership and staff of the Sunday in Thanksgiving to appreciate God for His mercies in the and in the new year. Mark, Mr. Bu said, despite the challenges of last year, 22 opens up for parties. Those people come charge of the year's appointment and they come to do things. All the year 2020, without steadfastness, courage, resilience, we will achieve it in 2021. Amen. Anything God shows in your heart this year that you will achieve, not to stop you. In a message titled The Attitude of Gratitude, guest speaker and a former senior special assistant to Governor Godwin Obaseki on religious matters, Reverend Ewoso Morui urged Christians to cultivate the habit of thanksgiving as a way of life. Attitude will determine your attitude. You are going to be born here, so you are going to be born here. God will not be left without God says, I will be resist the proud. Initiate of the monthly interdenominational prayer and the former Speaker of the House, Mr. Francis Okie, expressed the hope of a better society which is attainable through attitudinal change, hard work, dedication to duty for the growth and development of the state. Clerk of the House, Al Haji Audu Yahya Omobai, in his New Year message, taxed staff on rededication to duty in the new year. We need to work extra hard, we need to be more diligent, we need to be more uh, committed. To why we are here. For those of us that God has given the privilege of playing a role towards the betterment as well as of this state, we must acknowledge that at all time that we have a duty to perform. We cannot do without prayers. We must be close to God. This year, 2021, let us be close to God. Amen. The interdenominational prayer for January featured thanksgiving prayers for the speaker and members of the house, a do state governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, clerk and staff of the assembly, and peace in the state, led by the guest speaker, Reverend Ewoso Morui, vice chairman, South South Zone of Christian Association of Nigeria, Reverend Nosa Ibunijesu, Reverend Joseph Iase, and Pastor Patrick Idubo Kingsley Uchebu reporting. You're still watching the ITV main news. Up ahead, federal government rules out imposition of another lockdown. Details after this break. Hello, Pastor Charles Osazwa is my name. I'm excited coming your way again. It's Shekana. What is Shekana? It's a night of glory, a night of power, a night of manifestation. You cannot afford to miss it. Ministering, Samuel Posu, Messi Chimwo, Iman, Prosper Chimana, MC Abe, and many more. Date, January 8th, 2021. Time, 8 p.m. till dawn. The venue is kilometer 10, Saplero City of David. There will be buses all over the city. Call the numbers on the screen. I look forward in seeing you in Shekena. God bless you. What are they still doing there? Uh, sir, are they... Daddy! 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 Really? Let me see. Wow! I want her to study in Canada or United Kingdom where she will have quality and uninterrupted education with a post-study work visa. I know one correct place where go befit small madam. Are, are you sure they are reliable? They look professionals with over 12 years experience. Then, take me there. Welcome to Edward Broad Educational Services Limited. We provide high quality educational counseling and visa services. We process admissions for undergraduate, masters or PhD candidates to UK, Canada, Australia, Turkey, Ireland and over 72 countries. 
We are offering free application fee to all students that just graduated from secondary schools and universities. Visit us today and apply at Shop 35 Eddie Shopping Plaza, 27 Airport Road, opposite Observer, Benin City, or 133 Agbo Road by Agbo Park, Benin City. Telephone 080 Edward Brook Gateway. Bro. Hello, Bro Johnson Suleiman is my name. I hope this message meets you well. On the 6th and 7th of January, I will be in Benin for a powerful minister's conference. The word of God is the only drug. Prayer is a supplement. It's going to be three sessions. On the 6th, we are coming there by 4 p.m. On the 7th, it's going to be by 7 and 4. Please, registration actually will begin on the first day morning. Attendance of this conference is going to be strictly by registration. It's going to get to another level. We are believing God for the fire of the Holy Spirit, genuine apostolic move of God, restoration of prophetic grace, impartations of glory. Plot 224 White Road at Tuawa, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. For registration, seat preservation and inquiries, 0909-258-9071. SMS only. It is the man that makes the ministry. Come and be equipped. Real estate is one of the biggest and richest investments. Take advantage of this opportunity and trade it with the priest builders and estate developers. When you buy 10 plots, you get one free. The priest builders estate phase two at Obage Community of Sapele Road, now selling for 700,000 naira. The phase three at Obayato Community of Airport Road, selling for 950,000 naira. And phase four at Imasabon Community, Sapele Road, selling for 950,000 Naira. No community development fee, no agency fee, just buy and build. Remember, you can pay instrumentally. You can call us on 080-77977777 or visit our office at Comfort Plaza, 4A, ATT, DROA, Phoenix City. You can also go by my own, and I'll be among the 25 persons to get discounts for land. Thanks again for staying with us on the ITV Main News. The Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Festus Kiamo, has disclosed that the Special Public Works Program, which would engage 774,000 unemployed Nigerians, will kick off nationwide tomorrow. Kiamo, while announcing this on his Twitter handle, explained that President Buhari has approved the commencement of the initiative. The program designed to employ 1,000 Nigerians from each of the 774 local government areas in the country was initially scheduled for launch on October 1 last year, but it ran into hitches following the disagreement between KMO and the Director General, National Directorate of Employment, Nasser Ladon, who was sacked last month. Each of the 774,000 workers will earn 20,000 naira monthly for three months duration of the job, announcing about 46.4 billion naira. The chairman of the local government, Ege Ugbemudia, says she will continue to rely on God to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people of the local government area. Best in Bureau reports that the chairman made a remark at a special New Year Thanksgiving service in Benin City to mark her birthday. Choir and other members of Shepherd's Temple Outreach Ministry, Uselu, with a special song in honor of the chairman, Ego Local Government, Ego Bermudia, who offered thanks to God on the occasion of the New Year 2021 and as well as her birthday anniversary. From the church, the Ego Local Government Chairman, Ego Bermudia, visited Uselu markets and other areas to also celebrate her birthday with the traders as she distributed food to them. At the reception held at a residence along Bini Technical College Road in line with the COVID-19 protocols, guests who include the speaker, Edo State House of Assembly, Marcus Onabun, former Majority Leader, Edo State House of Assembly, Matthew Dwayekime, joined the celebrant to cut her birthday cake as well as wish her well. Hey. 
it feels good to identify with the right persons. Like they say, when the righteous are in power, the people rejoice. Looking at her track record, I'm sure you agree with me that she's one of those um, few local government chairmen who have been able to put infrastructure in place. Ego Bermuda is, to me, a symbol of loyalty, performance, dedication to her duties, and positive commitment to the development of our local government. Honorable Bermuda, a woman we're very proud of. She is a role model to us. We're very happy to follow her, to follow in her footsteps. One chairman who has done very well. I've tracked her over time and uh, her records are very clean and clear. For me, she's one lady who has proven to be this, the daughter of a great Nigerian. Ege Ogbemudia is somebody that I love so much because of her way of doing things. She's a very... Other girls who described Ege Ogbemudia as a woman who has raised the bar of women participation in governance said she is truly a replica of her late father, Dr. Samuel Saigbavo Ogbemudia. On behalf of the entire staff of Ege local government, we want to wish her long life and prosperity with good heads. Birthday today, and want to thank God especially for her life because she is uh, somebody we consider to be a blessing to humanity. I want to wish my boss, Honorable Ege Ogbemudia, a glorious happy birthday. She's a woman with a different, and she has demonstrated this in every sense. The celebrant and chairman of the local government, Egogbemudia, said her new age has come with renewed vigor to serve the people of a local government area diligently. I'm very happy to add another year to my age, and um, I want to give God the glory for seeing another year, even with the COVID-19 in 2020, and by God's grace, as long as I'm well and fit, I will always do the best for the people of a local government. Best in Biere reporting. Magistrates in Trust River State today protested at the governor's office in Calabar over non-payment of their 24-month salaries. The magistrates who came from the 18 local government areas of the state blocked the second gate leading to the governor's office, speaking on behalf of the aggrieved magistrates. The chief magistrate to Cross River State Government, Solomon Abu, said the protest is their last resort. Mr. Abu said they have been discharging their duties to the state government to bring about peace and tranquility to the society. Yet the governor does not deem it fit to pay them their salaries despite their entreaties, pleas, letters, correspondences, screening after screening. The children of Princess Rosalind Ejimen Awuliman have rolled out the drums to celebrate their mother's 90th birthday. At this while, well, to reports that the Catholic Archbishop of Benin Metropolitan City, Dr. Augustine Akubeze, presided over the Thanksgiving Mass in Arana. Blessed Virgin Mary Catholic Church Auditorium was packed with guests who joined the children of Princess Ejime Abulime in a Thanksgiving Mass presided over by the Catholic Archbishop of Benin Metropolitan See, Dr. Augustine Akubeze. Princess Ejime was administered the Holy Communion by a son who is also a Catholic priest, Reverend Father Andrew Abulime. In appreciation to God, the children of the celebrant made a cash donation to the parish, while Archbishop Akubeze admonished Christians to be fervent in the worship of God to attract longevity like the celebrant. We thank God for granting her long life in good health of mind and body. This donation of one million the event later shifted to Riato Hotel Event Hall for the reception, which was held in line with the COVID-19 protocols. The celebrants, accompanied by our children, having been ushered into the arena in a grand style, engaged the dance floor with delighted guests being entertained by various musical artists present on the day. Some of the guests who came from far and near were full of kind words for Princess Ejemer. A very well celebrated mother because she's a major gift to this state. Mama's uh, 
being from this state and uh, having her children, very successful children, the major impact had contributed to the development of this state. My earliest memory of power was when I was very young, each time we visited the village, the way she welcomed us, and in a few minutes, for the young was already ready. I came from Lagos because of this occasion, because of the love I have for Reverend Father Andrew Apolime. She's a good woman, and that's what I've kept her this long. Somebody living up to 90, it's good to be celebrated. We are rejoicing the entire family for this very great ripe age of their mother. She's a mother to all of us. She has done so very much. Thank God that her mother become a 90 years. The celebrant, Princess Ejeme Abulame, caught a 90th birthday cake to the delight of many, while her three children with their spouses, who include Dr. and Mrs. Iredi Abulame, alongside her grandchildren, eulogized their mother. This is our prayer that our mother will see more years. She will be more than a century. They are coming to celebrate for us has gradually increased our joy. And we pray that by God's grace, we we'll continue to celebrate Mama. My husband, who is, who is our son, is also like the mother, very kind. She's a good woman. In short, she's a vessel, a kind woman. All the fans we have today, they are, they are one, and they came all because of her. She has done great, and the crowd you see here today attests to that. She doesn't discriminate. She treats everybody the same way. Um, she's very nice to us. She's very kind. I'm very happy that she's at 90. Adesua Ratu reporting. It was celebration galore as former Miss Gift Oinyechi Mwoke and Mr. Jude as I uh, Busagi tied the national out at the weekend. Pius was all reports that dignitaries from all walks of life graced the occasion. Mm -hmm. Can I get an S? Jesus! Jude Nusage Jr. and Gift Nwoke flanked by their parents as they cut their wedding cake while a popular Benin-based musician, Akobegian, supplied music to entertain guests. In a remark, the chairman on the occasion, Elder Nosaka Egobamie, said the fear of God is crucial for any marriage to thrive. He enjoined the couple to love themselves and to put God first in everything they do. For any marriage you know, to succeed, we must have the fear of God and also the hard work. The couple were accorded a standing ovation as they arrived at the picnic ground of the precious Palm Royal Hotel for the ceremony where they were joined by family and friends in a nuptial dance. <laughs> Some guests who commented on the success of the ceremony prayed God to bless the union. May the Lord Almighty continue to guide them for marriage life is an institution and it's endless. I just pray to Almighty Allah to bless this marriage ceremony that we have been making it today. Love should be the propelling factor. If the two of them love themselves, they will be able to carry on. I pray for God, God should grant this union peace, harmony, and grace of God that whatever they pray for in their life, they will achieve it. The managing director of Precious Palm Royal Hotel and father of the groom, Barista Jude Esemwekia Nosage, and parents of the bride expressed gratitude to God for the success of the ceremony. They need to trust themselves. Of course, I mean, I've been with my wife forever, and uh, Jude knows that, and he knows what to do. The apple does not get uh, too far from the tree. So I'm sure they are going to do well. I thank God for everything that God has done. God has done it for us. Advice when I have for my daughter be saved, at least for him with your husband to love each other. Because where love day, where two or two people gather, uh, get one love, there is no enemy will come into them. I know say God will see they help them. I wish a good luck and good health. The couple described the event as a dream come true. And uh, I thank God uh, for family and friends that came to celebrate with me today. And uh, God bless everybody that came to share my happiness today. I feel excited, finally. It has happened. A lot of postponement because of COVID-19, but today it's coming to reality. And I'm so happy that I'm getting married to 
my best friend. Gift and Jude were earlier joined in a matrimony at the Professor Ambrose Ali Picnic Ground Precious Palm Royal Hotel by a group of officiating ministers and witnessed by family and friends. Pius Nsogo reporting. Congratulations to the newlywed. More stories coming up on the ITV main news. Please stay tuned. Hey! Our meeting said they're going to share rice for everybody for this Christmas. Soon. Hey, yo! Hey, hey, rice care. You they make me laugh. This Christmas, now generate our cooperative. One share for everybody. Hey, whoa! Well, hey, oh. I mean, I need generator for my business. So. No worry. Now, for Uyi Technica, them say them buy to share for all of us. And say Uyi Technica, they do Christmas bonanza right now. And everybody fit collect generator for bonanza price. Christmas generator bonanza for Uyi Technica? Hey! Oh, yeah, carry me go! Now, be this so Uyi Technica, the generator headquarters. Uyi Technica Christmas bonanza. Opportunity for everybody to get generator for cheap bonanza price. Every size and brand of generator with genuine spare parts, grinding machine and pepper mill, including sewing machine and others. Come buy generators for cheap Christmas price for Uyi Technical Limited, 79, 81 and 83 Mission Road, Benin City. This Christmas bonanza de shall for all Uyi Technical branches for Benin City. It is true that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Oh yes, now that you have seen it, go, redefine your home with EDS quality paints. We have emotion, glossary, test coat, stucco, Superior mat, super satin, high quality emotion. Oh yes, it is quality, no fade, no stain. It is quality paint. It is widely recommended, preferred and used. We have beautiful colors from our variety of paints. To give your homes, offices, hotels, schools a beautiful look. Come, visit us today at Along Amagwa Road, Amagwa Jiru City. Along Opasakumba Road by Ebba Village. Come at 22 Adesua Road, opposite Etete Junction. Or visit our head office at Kilometer 12, Benin Supply Road by Ogre Village, Benin City. It is quality paint. Redefines your home. Introducing Carter Catering Service, a division of Carter Cinemas and Entertainment Center, providing you quality, delicious, and tasty meals produced in a most hygienic environment. What is that occasion or event? Birthday party, housewarming, annual general meeting, burial ceremony. Carter Catering Services has got your back for local, continental, and Chinese cuisines. For that occasion, save yourself the stress and make your event unique. Classy and outstanding with our top of the range event management services. For all your bookings, visit us at Cada Cinemas and Entertainment Center, Sapler Road, Benin City, or call us on 0807 350 6900. Cada Catering Services, indoor and outdoor premier catering for all times. You are the sell that your market don't lie. I know say you want your goods to be delivered on time. Yeah, yeah. You were the self for Lagos, and you could be near your Jigawa. And your customer day for Castina. Or your customer day for Abuja. You know get to a hala we day for you. Oh yeah. From Nigeria to America. We go go for you. Just get the G.I.G. Go up and enjoy. G.I.G. Logistics. Uh, we they deliver quick quick. Every town, every city. Now we the drum, no be film trees. From Kwara to Kwakwanada. From Potaka to Asaba. From Lagos to Ibadan. From Menugu to Wanamara. Thanks again for staying with us on the ITV Main News. The police today arraigned their publisher, Osara reporters, Omoyale Shori, before a magistrate court in Abuja on charges bothering on alleged criminal conspiracy, unlawful assembly, and attempt to use undemocratic method to remove 
constitutionally elected president. Shawari and the four others accused persons pleaded not guilty to the three count charge. ITV Abuja correspondent Joseph Kadri reports that the magistrate Mabel Shegun Bello ordered Shawari to be remanded in Kujay Correctional Facility until his bail application is determined. The publisher of Sahara Reporters, who is also the convener of Revolution Nam protests, Omoyele Shawari, was arrested on the 1st of January 2021 on allegations that he led a protest in Gudu district of the FCT where they carried placards of unfriendly inscriptions demanding that President Mahmoud Buhari must go, an action the police considered as undemocratic. At the arraignment before a magistrate court in Abuja, Shawari and his co-accused pleaded not guilty to the three-count charge. His counsel, Marshal Abakar, orally applied that the court should grant him bail on self-recognition based on his antecedents as the former presidential candidate. He notes that the allegations are watery and citing section 158 of Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015, he says the allegation cannot stop the court from exercising its discretion on bail. But the prosecution counsel, James Idachaba, urges the magistrate, Mabel Shegumbello, to remand the defendant in correctional facility based on the weight of the false information report that is likelihood they will continue in the act. He also informed the court that the defendant is standing trial at the Federal High Court in Abuja on similar matter. Shore asked the court to allow him access to hospital so he can treat the injury he sustained as a result from the beating he received from the police. However, the magistrate, Shegumbello, in her short ruling, orders Shawari's counsel to formally apply for his bail. He remanded the accused in Kujie Correctional Facility until the termination of his bail application, slated for Tuesday, January 5th. Counsel in the matter brief press on the outcome of the arraignment. Um, their pleas were taken today. They indeed pleaded not guilty to the charges. Uh, we wanted to move the court to grant them bail on several cognizance, but uh, the court felt it would be more appropriate for us to file a formal motion for bail. Uh, the court has instructed, uh, the court has uh, used uh, its discretion in instructing that we file a formal application for bail, which uh, will be mandated to file and serve on the today. prosecution today before 4 p.m so that we can come back tomorrow by 11 a.m. and take the formal application for bail of the defendants. They, 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 they were being charged for criminal conspiracy, uh, uh, unlawful assembly, and then uh, inciting public disturbance to, uh, to, uh, to the extent that uh, somebody is calling that there should be a change of government uh, by, 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 other, by other means other than the constitutional uh, uh, they approved the constitutional uh, uh, processes. Shawari explains how he sustained injury. Yes, the policemen that were brought to where they claimed a protest was taking place just pounced on people. I came out of my car because I was covering the event and told them to stop beating people and they pounced on me too and broke my nose. This was uh, carried out by a mobile police officer who led about five vehicles loaded with, about seven vehicles loaded with mobile policemen. The arraignment of the convener of Revolution Ram protests, Omoyele Shawari, over the first information report bordering on public nuisance, criminal conspiracy, and unlawful assembly. Witness a mild drama on whether to order him to the police custody or the correctional facility. But at the end, the judge ordered that Shawari be kept in the Kuji Correctional Facility until the determination of his bill application. Joseph Kadri, ITV News, Abuja. The Ogun State Government has suspended the Commissioner for Environment, Abiodun Abudu Balogun. Mr. Abudu Balogun was suspended from office over an allegation of sexual harassment of a 16-year-old girl identified as Barakat Mayowa Melodrekun. In a statement issued in Abiyokuta, the Secretary of the State Government, Tokumbo Talabi, 
announced the suspension of the commissioner pending the conclusion of an independent investigation into the allegation. He explained that the state government decided to suspend Abudu Balogun to enable him to cooperate fully with an independent investigation being carried out by the police. Talabi assured the residents that the state government would do everything necessary to ensure that justice was served in the case. He disclosed that the suspended commissioner has been directed to hand over to the permanent secretary of the state ministry of environment. At the State Council of the Nigeria Union Journalists yesterday hosted members, their spouses and friends to a party to wrap up activities for the 2020 and also celebrate the new year. The event was attended by some heads of media organizations, chairmen and executives of the various chapels and affiliates of the union. King Slu Chebu completes the story. In a remark, Chairman NUJ Edo State Council Sir Roland Osakwe commended journalists in the state for their commitment to duty, especially in the outgoing year. Despite the challenges, he urged journalists to always ensure balanced reportage, especially on sensitive stories capable of destabilizing the society. Sir Roland Osakwe, on behalf of members of the State Council of NUJ, appreciated the Grand Patron of the Union, His Royal Majesty, a word the second above Benin, for facilitating the hosting of a successful end of and New Year party and for the cordial relationship between the palace of the above Benin and journalists in the state. We should join His Royal Majesty for the maintenance of the Benin tradition and culture and also reporting positively and not anything that will tarnish the image of the palace. When you find anything difficult maybe to comprehend, you go to the palace and find out and you will be clarified. Vice Chairman NUJ Imelda Osayande, Secretary Titus Ahibwe, and Secretary NUJ ITV and Radio Chapel Emmanuel Abololo comment. As journalists, we don't always have time for ourselves, especially the electronics. So we always find that time, come together, see ourselves, know what is going on, and where we can assist each other. We want to thank uh, our father, His Royal Majesty, Mamunomari Rokukuku Akolobolo, for facilitating this end of the party for journalism. We are very grateful. It's not only about work, work, work. Uh, the year has just started and uh, we must have time to sit down, relax and also enjoy ourselves. And that is exactly what we are doing here. You know that uh, a lot of people have been so gracious to us all through the year and so even the time for us to also appreciate them. In the reception, journalists, their spouses and children took to the dance floor to celebrate. For the journalists, that shows that they love the journalist. He's a great man. Go and strategize what God will do for us in year 2021. It's a time to relax. Kingsley Uchebu reporting. Edo State Council of the Nigerian. I beg your pardon. The Minister of Information and Culture, Al Haj Alai Mohammed, says the economic and social implications may make it difficult for the federal government to impose another lockdown in the country. The minister stated this today while addressing newsmen in Lagos. I, Mujay Korea, has details. Protocol. The Minister of Information and Culture, Al Haj Alai Mohammed, urged Nigerians to adhere strictly to all COVID-19 protocols laid down by the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19. The minister, who said government does not have any plans to impose another lockdown, however said government was not happy that Nigerians are not observing all COVID-19 protocols like washing of hands and wearing of face masks. The exercise is being coordinated by the Office of the National Security Advisor and comprises the Nigeria Customs Service, the Nigerian Immigration Service, the Armed Forces of Nigeria, as well as the Nigerian Police Force and other security and intelligence agencies. I can report to you, gentlemen, that over a year into the exercise, it is a huge success. He helped on the need for Nigerians to follow all COVID-19 protocols in order to stem the spread of the pandemic. I, Boji Horia, reporting. That's the size of the ITV Mainis tonight from Blessing. Thank you for watching and good night.
Join us at 11 for more news on independent television. Good night. Independent television news, truly independent. My honeycomb, my flavored chocolate, a yakma for you now. I'm coming. Come, let me spoil you. Look, this is not boiler access. Now, money. Right now, babes, yeah, bad for you. Find your first. Get a glow special data plan. Dial star triple seven hash glow. Joy to the earth, the savior. Is finally happening. Save a lot fun park inside Save a lot estate along Benin Lagos Express Road. After a catalog junction, Benin City, a five star amusement park is now ready for both kids and adults to have great fun on our first New Year Day party for your children, teenagers, and the whole family to have a fun field experience. Event place is also available. Come enjoy go kart ride, animal ride, go kart for kids, zip line tracks a lot of prizes are valuable to be won time 10 a.m to 6 p.m daily come and have fun on new year day party all covid 19 protocols will be duly observed visit our website at www.savealotfunpark.com call 0802-350-6036 save a lot fun park five star amusement park first new year day party is going to be fun all the way hello everyone today we shall be looking at the characteristics of clean water water is essential to life to ensure a regular healthy living every home needs <coughs> excuse me i need to get some water please wow master i have a mark 50 cl i have 75 cl this is I have a I have a special. 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 I have a special.